welcome dear students i welcome you for the second part of our lesson that is introduction to history uh, yes in previous part we have discussed about what is mean by history then we have discussed about what is the importance of history uh, in today's session we will be discuss discussing about the sources of history okay uh, this is the revision lecture this is the revision video we have already covered uh, these topics in uh, vacations or before vacation during the regular teaching okay so this is an revision video so here uh, the things are repeated for your uh, convenience so we will be discussing those so if we want to divide the sources of history it can be divided into three major sources okay the first one is material source of history the second one is written source of history and third is oral source of history okay we will discuss about them one by one and material source of history include it include different objects it include things for example if we are using different things like uh, we are using coins and uh, even buildings this can be called as a, a material source of history but because there is a material in it there is a thing in it that's why it is called material source of history we can give more examples of this like copper plates we have used in past and if archaeologists are studying those copper plates so it can be called as a material source of history even we have different god pots we have got the pots archaeologists have got the pots so if they are studying it carefully it also be called as a material source of history i hope you must have understood what is meant by material source of history in material source what is there it include things it include objects the second one is written source of history in written source of history there are things uh, different things that which were written in the form like if we divide the historic periods in two major groups Uh, one is prehistoric time and another is historic time. The prehistoric time is the time when there were no written record available. But during the historic periods, people were writing different books. Especially they were writing about biographies. They were writing different biographies. Biographies are the books which are written about someone's life. It is we can say life book, and it is written by someone else. And the biographies are the books which are written by themselves. People have written themselves. These books are called biographies. So even inscriptions, it also included written source of history where the we have the written proofs, we have the written records. These are called as a written source of history. Then we have next type of source that is oral source of history. In oral source of history, what is include uh, like many things that have came from. generation to generation uh, they have came orally to us they are not recorded but uh, from generation one generation to the other generation they have passed to us so these are called as the oral source of history it include different stories like panchatantra story jataka story this can be called the oral source of history these are passed from parents to their son and grandparents your grandfather grandmother must be telling you stories that can be called as a oral source of history so these are the types of sources that are found uh, uh, in history then uh, these are some sources of history that we will be discussing the first source of history is books in past also people were writing books so it can be called as a written source of history it was a uh, what can we say material source of where different books were written uh, especially the rulers they want to be few, uh, famous to future also so in future also they should be remembered for that reason what they used to do they used to tell their people to write book on their life so books were divided into uh, we can say two categories like uh, religious books we have uh, four vedas then uh, different uh, we can epics they are called as Uh, we can see religious books and the other type of sources are like which are secular type of books which are like drama stories it include 
the such type of books are included into uh, the written source. Then we have monuments. Monuments are you know, we can say different buildings are the sources of history that are called as monuments. It include uh, different temples, it include forts. The historical buildings can be called as a monuments. If you are studying those uh, things or if you are studying such temples, so you can get a lot of information about those era, those period. So these are the sources of history monuments or forts we can say. Then inscriptions. What are the inscriptions if you want to define it? So inscriptions are writing done on the hard surface. Okay, if you are taking any, using any hard surface like if you are using walls or you can say copper plates, then rocks. So these are written on hard surface like this and they are called as inscriptions. So inscriptions are written on hard surface. If we are studying, if you go to any fort, most of the time it is possible that you will get some type of, uh, we can say, inscriptions. And uh, what they used to write in inscription, they used to write about different wars. Even the king and ruler, they used to write about them, so that people should remember in future also. So inscriptions were written. Then manuscripts. So manuscripts in the old days, there was no uh, paper invented. So that time people were uh, writing on palm leaves. And uh, this record, you know, this writing is known as a manuscript. If you divide this word, manu means hand and script means writing. So manuscript means handwriting which was written on, uh, we can say palm leaves. These we, were written in palm leaves. But there was problem with manuscripts. Most of the manuscripts are destroyed because they are organic material. As being the organic material, uh, insects have already eaten them. Some of them are stored very safely. And from this manuscript, we can get a lot of information about the past. So, in past, manuscripts were written. Then, pots and tools, different pots were used in the past also, like today also we are using, but the material was different. That time, mostly stones were used and the tools which were used for their day to day life. That also, if we study carefully, if the scientists or archaeologists are studying them carefully, we can get a lot of information about the past, like from what material it is made, what may be the uses of these sources. This can be uh, called as a pots and tools. These are the sources of uh, history again. Then we have an activity that you have to uh, do. What you have to do, what uh, just now I have discussed with you, different type of uh, sources of history. So you have to make a chart on it. So in that chart, what you have to make, you have to write information about the uh, sources of history on the one side and you have to paste the pictures of those sources of history. So for you can use, for this reason you can use uh, internet resources to get your work done. So this will be your uh, assignment activity that you have to conduct. So at last uh, I will uh, show you a video. That video contains information about uh, different sources of history. Uh, I hope you will definitely enjoy that video. Source of history. In this module, you will learn about the study of various types of historical sources and its importance in the construction of history. Historical sources are the foundation to understand a particular era back in time. They help us to gain knowledge about important events, inventions, cultures, civilizations, and many other aspects of our society. They serve as evidence in the construction of history. Let us take a look at some of the historical sources of history. Literary sources are original sources of information in the form of documents or recordings created in the past. 
There are two kinds of literary sources of history, native literature and foreign literature. Native literature is the literature produced by the indigenous people of a given era. Some examples of native literature of India are Vishak Dattas, Mudra Rakshas, Kalharas, Rajdharagini, Ashwabhoshas Buddha Chandra, Kautilya's Arthashastra, Amur Varshas Kavi Rajamarana, and the tripping tanks of this literature. Foreign literature refers to the writings of foreign visitors, explorers, and scholars. Some examples of foreign literary sources are Melis Haynes, Indica, Hill Sands, Siyuki, Far Pines, Fukuoki, Silos, The Punch, and Ma Punch. The writings of foreign men in US who visited the Vijayanagar Park and the writings of Domingo Spades, Duan Barbosa, and Nicolo Di Conti. Archaeological sources of history are the artifacts like inscriptions, coins, monuments, pots, and pans that have been obtained during archaeological excavations. Let us learn about inscriptions, coins, and monuments. Inscriptions provide us with information about the religion, culture, administration, economic, and other aspects of a given place that period. The earliest inscription found in India was written by the modern emperor, Ashoka. These inscriptions were engraved on rock edicts, slams, and stone pillars. Some of these edicts have been found in Maski in Raichal district and Brahmagiri in the Chitrapurva district of Karnana. The inscriptions found in India are mostly in the Brahmic script and the Brahmic language. The Valmini inscription is believed to be the first inscription available in the Kannada language. New Bismarck is the study of the evolution, nature and development of coins. Early coins have been minted by using a variety of metals. A study of these coins has gained knowledge about the minting technologies used as well as the religious, economic, administrative and social aspects. They help us to know about the important rulers or famous personalities of that era from the images on the coins. Stupas, Vasadas or Jain temples, temples, palaces and fort ruins are the kinds of monuments which exist today. These monuments enable us to know about the unique architectural designs and technological, social, religious, political, and economic conditions of that period. They reflect the achievements of kings and administrators. Ashoka's pyramids, Ajanta and Lora caves, the elephant caves, Badana, Aigul and Pattadaka of Karnataka are evidences of India's glorious heritage. A legend is a story from the past that is believed by many people but cannot be proved to be true. Legends are also referred to as Stala Puranas. There are many legends about individuals, events and customs of the past which have been passed down in the ages. Although legends do not provide direct information relating to an event, they reflect the social beliefs which prevail in the society. Let us now recap on the important points that we have covered in this morning on sources of history. So, I hope you must have understood uh, about the sources of history. At last, uh, I will tell you the, as we are doing revision reviews. So, what you have to do, those who are remaining to complete their uh, assignments which were given previously from month of March to May. So, they will complete their assignment and submit as soon as possible. And those who have already completed for them, uh, there will be separate, uh, we can say, hot questions will be given on your uh, 
intact. So you have to solve those, and those who have not completed the assignments given earlier. For the worksheet of these videos, you have to refer to the old worksheet which was already given you uh, in the month of March to May. Okay, the remaining students will get different questions which who have completed all the worksheets. Those who have completed all the worksheets, they will get. Uh, what we can see though different questions and those who have not completed they have to complete earlier work then only they will get the new worksheet and new questions okay thank you